Hi, I'm Marcus and I'm a LEGO designer on the LEGO Ninjago team. Hi, I'm Angel and I'm a graphic designer also in Ninjago. We're super excited to uh, share Ninjago City Markets with you today. It is 64 studs wide, meaning two base plates. This fits seemingly with the other Ninjago City modules, like Ninjago City Gardens. And it came together when I was thinking about how to follow up Ninjago City Gardens. I loved the idea of including Cyrus Borg, which is one which is a fan favorite character that is confined to a wheelchair, therefore making it very difficult for him to traverse Ninjago City. A cool idea I had was like using a cable car to allow him to go from the bottom floor to the top floor. The cable car took like 12 or 13 tries just to get right because it just informs everything else, and everything else was designed around it. We have eight different roof designs, and they feature everything from books to uh, stable doors to even candles, and uh, just make for a cool variety in building techniques. We have a working bathroom with a toilet that flushes. We have a karaoke club. We have a bakery down here, a blacksmith. Uh, there's so many things to discover and like play with that um, I think you'll have hours of fun with it. On the top floor, you'll find Laffy's Karaoke Club which is a place that the ninjas hang out multiple times over the, the various seasons of the TV show. It's owned by Dareth, and it contains not just the smallest pool table we've ever built, it also contains a jukebox, um, a karaoke um, stage where you can sing with a super cute microphone build, and of course you can also play darts, and Dareth can serve you drinks behind his little counter. And down here we have a blacksmith, and of course we have uh, Kai uh, working on a new katana and it's the first time that we have a katana in trans uh, orange and it's looking super cool. Down here we have a bakery and unlike in the London Jaga City sets where you can just lift off floors, this one actually slides out horizontally because the complex construction of the cable car required us to reinforce this block of the building so much that there's no way to lift off the floors. But this way you can actually access the various different compartments and play with them on the inside. And here on the top we have a sushi bar. Uh, it's of course a reference to Susimi, a character in Prime Empire. We have a new uh, decorated element here, which is a noodle box. The Java City Markets contains the first flushable Lego toilet um, up here. And uh, the cool bit is, I think, that you can flush the toilet and then uh, it travels down here and out the back. So it appears somewhere else entirely where you don't expect it. I think it's the most over-engineered uh, toilet in, in toilet history because it took the whole design team uh, weeks to get it to work. So of course, having a big city like, like this, you need some characters to populate it. We have 21 minifigures on this uh, model. Uh, we're going to start with the ninjas. We have uh, Lloyd and Nia with their ninja outfits. And then as an exclusive, we have Cole and Jay as uh, action figures that you can find the decorating rooms and hidden in places in the, the model. Then we have this never made before detective saying that uh, it's a reference from black and white episode uh, in the show. Then we have uh, two new ninja recruits. We have uh, Arin with a new casual outfit and then we have Sora with the printed noodle box. Miss Demeanor that uh, Marcus is a big fan. You can maybe talk about it. Uh, oh yeah, I loved putting the Miss Demeanor in here because she's just such a cool villain from the Crystallized season. And I do love that she has just an awesome flamethrower on the back and who doesn't love flamethrowers? <laughs> Hound Dog uh, McBrack, you know, is a big character in the season, just chasing the, the ninjas like crazy. Um, and of course, there we have uh, Chamil, and we're super happy to introduce her in this set because uh, she's the last one of the Elemental Masters, of the classic ones that, that we didn't have as a minifigure. Dareth doing, you know, the dishes and cleaning the glasses. Cyrus Borg uh, with uh, his wheelchair and classic design. Blazy Hyperspeed um, wearing a Bionicle T-shirt. Then here we have these two uh, fan favorites, um, Gail Gossip and Vinny Folson. Uh, it's the first time we, we do them as minifigures and we're super happy to have them. We have uh, 70 stickers on these models and as you can see, many of them, they have uh, writing on them. We're using this uh, Ninjago alphabet uh, that, that we always use on Ninjago models where you can you know, translate and try to find out uh, all the easter eggs that we've uh, hidden and all the details that are written in them. On the back of the model, we have one of my favorite uh, sticker designs. Whenever I go to fan events, I get asked to bring back the iconic Lego goat from uh, the 2011 uh, castle line. And in this case, we actually squeezed in a wanted poster. There's a missing goat. And um, yeah, I hope you can find it one day. We hope you enjoyed building this just as much as we had fun designing it. Thanks a lot for watching. <laughs>